somebody else asked about diet. Here's the here's the here's the only thing that I can offer about diet. It's not anything I'm an expert at. I don't. It's not something I've really studied. But I do know from all my reading that many ancient cultures, especially the Greek, were not big on what we ate. They didn't really care what it was you were eating. I have never found in all my historical studies such strict adherence to dietary laws as found in the Old Testament among the Jewish writings. But that's not shared by the other cultures of the ancient world, just like so many of the other weird Jewish things that are found in the Old Testament that we've taken for granted, that we've brainwashed to believe is how things should be, weren't shared by others in the ancient world at, at, at all. What was shared in antiquity was how much you consume. What you ate was, was almost by preference or by culture. I don't find those dietary laws. There's hundreds of thousands of records from Akkad and the Sumerian and Babylonian cities. They were obsessed with mercantile stuff. They were obsessed with, with business transactions. Yeah, a lot of you don't know this. All these things we talk about on these YouTube channels and, and, and we, we publish in books, like I'm guilty of this too. All we ever talk about is the astronomical and all the gods and all the deification stuff that we find in these ancient records. But true truth is the majority of ancient tablets are transaction records. What is the name of the person who donated this amount of this amount of goats, this amount of cheese, and this and a gold wedge on this date to what temple? Man, transactions, financial transactions, trading transactions, these are the majority of the records archaeologists have found from the ancient world. Epics and epos and, and great fantastic uh dialogues. It, th those are the minority. They're not, they're not, they're not a lot cosm cosmogonies, they're not, they're not common. That's why when we find them, it's a big deal. But mainly all these ancient records are boring as hell. It's uh, tax records and and uh, it's just a bunch of government administrative stuff. So um, there I go on a tangent again. Why, why was I talking about these ancient records and all that? Oh, the dietary laws. Yeah, you don't find all these strict adherences to different di diets. What you find, especially among the Greeks, is like, it's like they were very big on a very small, light meal of light foods early in the morning. They were really big on either not eating lunch at all or a very small snack, like a fruit or a, a, a wedge of bread and cheese uh, for uh, lunch during the heat of the day. And they were really big on feasts every single night. You eat till you're fat, fat, full but you don't do it right before sleep. Yeah, because that was a social. After they ate, then they socialized. Then they did whatever, bang their wives, whatever. It's uh, this is, this is exactly how it went for the uh, the ancient world. So I'm a, uh, that's dietary laws. I, we are much bigger than what we consume. Just like I tell you guys a lot, you know, I am bigger than anything that can happen to me. And I believe this.